Before authenticating, I need to create what's called a certificate template. A template is basically a blueprint for a certificate, which means if I am going to request a certificate for server authentication, like the one we need now, there is a template for it. So we don't need to create it from scratch. There are a lot of templates for different needs, like code signing, email signing, client authentication, and more. In our case, we need a template for a web server authentication EQ. And an EQ stands for extended key usage, which means what is the objective of this certificate template or what is the purpose of it? So each EQ, Let's say server authentication is identified by an OID, an object identifier. For example, this OID is for the server authentication EQ that is used to authenticate a server identity. So certificate with this EQ ensures that the server presenting the certificate can be trusted by the client, which called web server. But let's create one to also understand how templates are created. Select the certificate authority, then certificate template, right click, select manage, choose any template. I'm going to choose the web server one to keep things simple. Right click and duplicate. We call this Kali web server, so we can use it for our Kali web server. Then we move to security. As we can see, the domain users can enroll to the certificate, which means any domain user can sign a CSR certificate of a web server. If we go to the extension tab, application policy, we see that this template AKU or the purpose of it is server authentication, which is exactly what we need. And the reason why we have got that is because we have duplicated this template from the web server template. As I said before, we can use the web server template, but I just want to show you how to create one. We import the Kali web server template and it's enabled now. Now let's authenticate to the web enrollment side with a domain user that has low privileges. So go to the IP address where ADCS is installed slash CRTCSRV. We authenticate using the low privilege domain user we are in. Then we select the user certificate and then we select the template which is the Kali web server. And we copy the certificate sign-in request and paste it in the requests field. Then we click submit and we download the certificate. Let's move it from the download directory to the current directory. And we will replace the private key with our new generated private key as we did before for the self-signed cert. And also we replace the certificate with the cert new.cert that we have downloaded from the web enrollment interface. Now we add those certs in the SSL config file the same way we did for the self-signed certificate. Restart the Apache server and go to the local host. Let's check certificate informations. As you can see, it's signed by bank server CA. Now, if we open the kali.bank.local domain in our Active Directory environment, we will not get that error message because the browser trusts the CA and already had its public key stored to verify the certificate. Great. 